This work uh, that Jan chose to present here is part of a larger project on spam and scam where John and me, we've been collecting scam and spam for more than 15 years. Uh, and uh, we don't know exactly why we start to uh, collect them, but uh, we were collecting very particular scams that were presenting a small narration, a small story about people who has a, a big amount of money and it is linked to also to the constitution of, um, of corruption and the imaginary of corruption. It's not only about true facts, but it's because it's scam, so it's fiction, but nevertheless there are mapping a certain imaginary that people have about scam. These scams are very efficient because every year you have billions of dollars that are transferred. Um, so the show started with the first um, uh, work that is called the Jerusalem Letter. Well, we like to start with this because it uh, gives you a history to all the scams because it's actually a text uh, coming from um, Bidoc, who was the chief of the police and uh, wrote uh, and showed that uh, exactly the same narration was happening in France just after the French Revolution. So it's basically my boss and me had to escape from the event, so the French Revolution, and on our way to Switzerland, we hide a treasure. So if you help me, you will have part of this treasure. Um, it's exactly the same kind of narration that we will have today in the internet scam. The second uh, work when we enter the, the space is uh, about the mapping of uh, the scam. Because to believe in those scams, you have to locate them in certain places and you follow the events that are happening every year. So if you hear about a certain um, small story about corruption, it will help us to to locate it more easily and to believe in those stories. So we are presenting the geometry of spaces. Uh, here we are presenting just one year, 2005. And you can see how certain places are much more present in the imaginary of corruption than others. Like you won't have anything in Australia, for example, or in New Zealand, but you will have a lot focusing in um, Africa, in the Middle East, in certain regions, because this is related to a certain imaginary that we have about corruption. The, another work, which, is, which was actually the first work that we did on this project, it's called A Letter Can Always Reach Its Destination, where we are having this video installation with a hologram, where you have all the actors uh, um, on a very smooth traveling that are passing, and suddenly there's one actor that would go out from this chorus and come in front and say it uh, embodies this, uh, this text. So for us it was to give a, a body to those stories because behind those um, fiction there is also stories. If you accept, if you are interested, please contact you as soon as possible so that we can arrange something. And then um, what is great with this you know, camp is not just about being naive, that you are believing uh, easily stories. So we are presenting in the trophy room where you have the scammers that have been scammed by other people. What happened is actually that um, uh, the U.S. government made some pressure on certain states, among them the Nigerian state, to make a law against it. So people were starting not to uh, to make the scam from their houses, but from internet cafes, so they have to pay according to the time they are spending there. So there are a group of people, especially in the US, start to answer them and asking so specific questions that the scammer have to spend time inside the cafe to answer this specific question. And little by little, they start also to ask them for trophy. So we are seeing trophy on, in this room. And these trophy are related actually most of them to the arts, being uh, sculpture, performance, uh, films, and the paintings. And uh, we are using, we are borrowing here the Lina Bobadi displays about um, when she uh, made this uh, first exhibition in the Museum of Sao Paulo, where uh, about uh, the André Malraux Museum, uh, Musée Imaginaire, Museum Without Walls, where it's not the real artworks that are represented, but reproduction. And these 
uh, pictures are not artwork by itself, but what is b making it and putting it in the artwork is this composition, this atlas that is uh, this curating between them, meaning that uh, this camera is not anymore um, just this camera. The category are redefined. Yeah. Uh, the original show um, um, was, I must uh, first apologize, which is an incipit, meaning that it's uh, usually the, the first sentence that you found in a lot of emails. Uh, the person always trying to introduce himself before saying that you are the only trusty person that, uh, and I'm addressing to you specifically. And uh, in, uh, at that occasion where uh, we are showing just part of this exhibition, uh, we uh, discussed it uh, together uh, with Joanna about um, um, uh, it's uh, a continuation and at the same time a shift. So we still need to apologize. <laughs> Today, you will have more tender for a Syrian family, even if they are coming from Romania.